the Grade 1 Lancashire Chase is next. They've got Q Card at the top for David Hooley. Master of Shadows, Joshua Sutherland. Obsidian Shard, Leon Van Rensburg. The Broken One, Joshua Sutherland. Art Class Judith, David Robertson. Bronwyn Killing, David Robertson. Cape Solitude, Darren Thompson. Found Her Voice, Leon Van Rensburg. Lintz, Darren Thompson. Magical Times, David Hooley. And Mig, Craig Beckwith. So just 11 then for this Grade 1 event. Uh, which found her voice we're going to get this week. Three falls and a win so far. Away we go. And Cape Solitude. It's the early leader, but now Mig has come through the challenge and pulling for its head. That one wants to go on as they get to the first. And they're all safely over the first. With Mig settling down in front from Master of Shadows in second. Found her voice wide on the track is third. Down on this near side, Cape Solitude is fourth. Then Lintz. And the broken ones after that. Got just the one grey in this. That's David Robertson's hard class Judith. But Mick has opened up an early lead of six lengths or so. Well, we haven't even got to the second fence yet. With Cape Solitude just second. And the Joshua Sutherland pair with the Broken One and Master of Shadows. Now this near rail Magical Times is next. And hard class Judith the grey as they get to the next. They're all safely over. Obsidian Shard with just the back marker over it. But Mig is nicely clear by a good six lengths. Coming down to the third. And all over that one nicely as well. Craig Beckwith, a winner earlier with Cruise on Bike. We'll be hoping to get another one with this one. Mig as he comes into the next turn. Gets over the fourth. That was a nasty looking full way for Cape Solitude. Now Cape Solitude is gone. And that would have been quietly fancied by Darren Thompson, I would have thought. He's still got Lint. He's running in about fifth at the moment. But it's Mig the leader coming into fence five. And Mig very nearly went in. Made a really bad mistake. So too did Obsidian Shard at the back for Leon. Well, it was not as bad a mistake as Mig made. And Mig jumped that ditch. Really well to make up for it. And Obsidian Shard's gone at the back. It was a faltering, unseated rider, really. It looked like he got away with it, but the jockey just slipped out the side door. So, two of the big guns gone. And Mig is in the lead. By about five minutes to the broken one in second. Master of Shadows is third. Then found her voice on the outside is fourth as they get to the next. And. A good jump there by Bronwyn Killing. Lintz is also up there. Well, then comes our class Judith. And then a bit of a gap to the back to uh, the David Hooley pair. Q card and Magical Times as they get to this next ditch. And over that one, they all jump that one okay. So the remaining nine of them racing towards the next. Which is the 9th of 19. As they get to all oh, Mig went right through it again. Uh, made a really bad mistake. Found her voice. He's now in second. Got the centre of the track racing virtually on its own. Now oh, this near rail. The broken ones move back into second again. As they come to the 10th. All safely over the 10th. And they're racing up past the stern. With Mig in the lead. Past the winning post then and a complete circuit of the Haydock track to go. And Mig leads by about four. The broken one in second. And found her voice on the outside is third. Bronwyn killing is fourth between those two. Lintz is fifth. And then Master of Shadows is sixth. Q card is seventh. Then Magical Times and finally the grey hard class Judith. But if you see them come around this turn, found her voice were in quite wide there. And giving away a little bit of ground as they come to the 11th. Oh, and she's gone again! Would you believe it? Found her voice has fallen again. That's three falls in four weeks for the horse that Leon Van Rensburg told me was the best chaser he'd ever bred. So, goodness me, what's going to happen for the rest of the season there then? So, it's me in the lead. From Br the broken one in second, Bronwyn Killen is third, Master of Shadows is fourth, then comes Q Card and Magical Times, Lintz is next, and then Hard Class Judith is just the back marker as they take the 13th, and Hard Class Judith was down on her nose this time, and Mig is still the leader. 
from the Broken One in second. Master of Shadows is third. Bronwen Killer is fourth. Then Magical Times Q Card, Lintz, and then Hard Class Judith is the back marker. At the 14th, then a really good jump there by Bronwen Killing has seen that one move up almost alongside the leader. The broken one is also trying to get her a share of the lead over this ditch. They go and the broken one jumps into the lead. Mig on the inside battling back on the outside. Bronwen Killing gap of two lengths, then to magical times. Lintz and Master of Shadows, these have put two lengths ahead of themselves. Q card and Arglath Judith the back two, but it's Mig on the inside who's battled back for the lead. Then as they now swing towards home, and it's Mig in front. Mig's just just about in the lead by about a head. Lintz though is coming round the outside now to challenge over the fourth last they go. And it's Mick on the inside. Lintz on the outside. Between the two of them is the broken one. Then comes Bronwyn killing. Hard class Judith is eating up the ground. The grey up the centre of the track. This is the final ditch. The third from home. And it's broken one who's now gone into the lead. It's broken one by half a length. Lintz in second. Mig is beaten now on the inside in third. Then comes um, Bronwyn killing. Hard class Judith. Magical times is trying to run. So too is you can't. They're racing down towards the f final two fences. Over the second last they go. And now Lynch comes to challenge the broken one. Bronwyn Killen is back in third. These three are clear as they come down towards the final fence in a Lancashire chase. Is the broken one by about a neck. Lynch in second. Bronwyn Killen is third. Over the final fence they go. Lynch made a mistake. Broken one jumps in better. And the broken one is now racing away. Is the broken one into the final half furlong and the broken one is clear of Lintz who's trying to battle back broken one needs the line gets the line broken one wins it Lintz is second Bron when killing third then Master of Shadows and half class Judith and all the way back to Mig who was the long time leader just ran out of stamina in the end but it was the broken one that took it probably getting down to the jumping because Lintz made a mistake in the straight, the broken one for Joshua Sutherland, the winner. Lintz was second for Darren Thompson. Bronwyn killing for David Robertson, third. Master of Shadows, Joshua Sutherland was fourth. And Magical Times for David Hooley was fifth.